John Lusk here at Lusk Archery Adventures. Serious testing, successful hunting. If you've watched my channel much, you've seen that I've done quite a bit of testing on the Afflictor broadheads. I really like those. I've used them in the field and taken a bunch of animals with them from deer to multiple hogs to, uh, to turkeys. I've even like shot multiple hogs with the same head back to back okay, on the same day. Um, so I, I've really liked them in the field. They've recently made some uh, adjustments and modifications, some improvements to their line of mini hybrids. So I have the, uh, the mini K2 or K2 mini hybrid here, and then I've got the, the mini hybrid X here. And there's just some slight differences to them. So let's zoom on in here and I'll go through and highlight some of the improvements they've made as well as the other design features and specifications, and then we'll put them to the test. And I'm going to be using my Botex SR6, set at 72 pounds, and I'm using Bishop FOC King Arrows for most of the testing, but then Bishop Fat Eliminators for the really hard impact shots. Let's check out these new hybrid minis from Afflictor. Here's a good look at the Hybrid X Mini close up. And this used to be called the Ultraviolet, but now they call it the Hybrid X Mini. And so if you're not familiar with the Flickters, they're really cool design. And some of the features are in the closed position, you're getting uh, like 0.6 inches of cut in the, the main tip right there. And then these bleeders that are the drive keys that open the blades, you're getting another half inch of cut. So you're getting over an inch of cut, even in the closed position, which is nice. But upon impact, oh, and the blades are held together by this, this little uh, retention ring here. And so on impact, this retention ring is forced back like that. And then the pressure on these drive keys open the blades into their full position. And this cutting diameter on these minis is one and a half inches. So a nice healthy cut and you're still getting these bleeders, the drive keys, they cut another half an inch. So you're getting a total cut of two inches. And that's the same for each of these hybrid minis, both the Hybrid X and then the K2 Mini. And another really cool thing about it is these blades, they lock open like that. And they're the only mechanical that can lock in this way, okay? Another uh, broadhead that the blades lock open is the sever. But these are different from the sever in that they're not forced back as you pull it out. Every other mechanical head, by its design, it has to either not lock, which most of them do, and that's a problem, or when you pull it out, the blades kind of close a little bit. But these, because the blades go perpendicular all the way to the ferrule. They're not considered barbed, and so they lock open as a triangle like that. And the only way to close them is with the pressure going backwards on the, uh, the drive key like that. So it's really cool design, and they've got a neat little lattice there to give the blades extra support, so they're not just this unsupported blade kind of sticking out there. So that's the uh, the Hybrid X Mini. Oh, and the, the blades themselves on both of these models are 0.032 inches thick. And what I want to note as well is they've made a few improvements. These are the new ones, and the improvements they've made are twofold. Now, you won't really notice it, but I know I'll notice it, okay? Because they were two of kind of my critiques in the past. One, they've made this pin that holds the blades in place and holds the tip in there. They've made it out of a much stronger steel. So that pin makes it a lot more durable. And then two, they've changed the bevel angle of their blades so they're not as thin. They used to have quite an extreme bevel on them, which made them really sharp, but they didn't hold an edge quite as well. They got pretty nicked up as they penetrated through a medium. And so they've uh, they've made that, that bevel a little bit steeper. So the blade edges are gonna be tougher and that pin is gonna be tougher. Uh, again, the blades are all uh, made out of stainless steel. The tip is stainless steel. The drive key and that pin holding it place, they're all steel. Uh, the ferrule itself is made out of aluminum. I believe it's a 7075. Now, another unique thing about these heads is they have a weight collar. So without the weight collar, you have a 100 grain head. And with the weight collar, you boost it up to 125 grains. So that's the Hybrid X Mini. 
And here for comparison is the K2 Mini. So it looks really similar, although it's green. <laughs> but the difference is the, uh, the K2 has a different tip. This is their K2 tip that's on their other hybrids. Uh, and this on the, uh, the Hybrid X is their EXT tip. So you notice that the EXT tip, let me close this so you can see the comparison. The EXT tip is just a little bit longer. It extends out a little bit longer than does the K2 tip. The K2 tip is a little bit uh, shorter. So that's really the only difference. In one sense, you get maybe better penetration with the EXT or with the Hybrid X because it's a little bit more gradual, though I don't know if that's really gonna make a difference. Both of them, uh, from my experience, are, are equally good heads. This one in the K2 Mini, the overall profile is a little bit shorter because of that, that, uh, that different tip on there. And I kind of like less surface area, so I really like that. So I'm eager to put these heads to the test and see how they perform. And I'm gonna be using all the tests that I do for 2021. And for a detailed description about all those tests, please read about them in the description box below this video. So let's see how these two newly renovated, updated Afflictor hybrid minis perform. Two twenty-five. Each of the heads penetrated exactly at seven inches. I know it's hard to see the K2 Mini there. It's weird with the glare and the refraction, the way it works with this gel, but it's there. And uh, they both penetrated seven inches. Three hundred. They each penetrated through 52 layers. Now I want to test how well these heads open and see what their entrance hole is like on this cardboard box with a thick layer of leather stretched tightly over it. The Hybrid X opened one and a quarter inches on the initial impact. And then here you can see on the back of the cardboard box, it was at the full one and a half inches. The K2 Mini opened one and a half inches on the initial impact. And then on the back of the box, it stayed right at that one and a half inches. Here's the Hybrid X after five shots through the MDF, and there's just no signs of wear whatsoever, except you know some little cosmetic uh, stuff on the tip. Everything held together perfectly well, including the drive keys. They function. You know the the blades can still close and, and open. No bent in the ferrule. Really impressed with that durability. And it was pretty much the same with the K2 Hybrid Mini here. Um, held up very well, spins true. Little bit of wobble maybe in that tip. Yeah, you can see a little bit of wobble. Otherwise held up very well. Here's the Hybrid X after impacting the concrete. And as you can see, it did not hold up very well to that hard impact test. It just broke into a lot of different pieces and the pieces I could find, I put down here. Now the tip was really durable and it stuck into the concrete quite well. But the, the rest of it there just kind of blew apart. And I didn't even do the concrete test with the uh, the K2 Mini because it, it's just the same design. And it's interesting that the durability of these hybrids, it's so good through the MDF, 
and, uh, and other impacts like that. I've even shot them through steel plate before, and they're one of the more durable with a cutting impact like that. But in a zero penetration test, they just have their limitations. Now, you know, does that have a real world application? That's up to you to decide. I've hunted with these many times and they've done very well. So they uh, they're definitely have their strengths. And anybody using a mechanical doesn't use them just because they're the toughest, most durable heads on the market. They're using them because of their small size in flight and then their big opening, not their durability. But it's interesting to see the way that, that this had performed in that zero penetration test. So what do you think of these new Afflictor Hybrid Minis? You know, there's a lot that I really like about them. Uh, man, I, I like the, the overall cut size that they have to maximize penetration. They fly really well. They're extremely durable when it comes to holding up to MDF like that compared to most mechanical broadheads. In the zero penetration test in the concrete, they did not do very well, okay? And I know that about these hybrids. There's, there's so many uh, parts and components that that kind of zero penetration, that's just not their strong suit. But like I said, I, I've used them so much in the field and that's never been an issue. So it's up to you to determine with each of these data points, how important are they to you in your hunting situations and for your hunting needs. Uh, as for which one I really like the most, I like them both. I mean, they perform so comparably. I probably lean towards the, the K2 Mini just because it's a little bit shorter overall and so it gets a little bit of an edge like that. But both of them are really good and I applaud uh, Afflictor for strengthening that pin. I could notice that in some of the testing and just my own testing about it just on the side, as well as the edge durability and changing that bevel, that really does help and makes a difference. So check out the score sheet, see how they perform in the areas that matter to you the most, and see if maybe they're the right head for you. Oh, and I have a discount code for Afflictor because they sell direct to consumer. I can offer that if you uh, type in LUSK10, L-U-S-K-1-0, when you buy them, then you get 10% off, and it's just a good savings for you. So check them out, and see what you think, but I think great job overall, Afflictor.